Just pop this out. And I think we finally have some silver right here. Large scent. Looks like it's probably going to be a braided hair. 1964. Out of Philly. All right. Another one. That's cool. cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio back once again for a four box, $2,000 half dollar hunt. Got four boxes left that did not get picked on the stream this week. So we're going to start out with WB3, but here is how the week went. So Saturday night we hunted CU1 and CU2. We had a 40 and a 90 in CU1, two 40s and a 90, a miscellaneous and a NIFC in CU2. And then we followed that up with WB1 had a single NIFC. So tonight we started out with PB1, had an NIFC and a miscellaneous, went to C CB1, and that had two 90s, a 40, and an NIFC. So not too bad on that one. So we're going to start out with the WB boxes first. Didn't have a lot of luck with those. Then we're going to go to PB2, and then we're going to go to the sister box of the one that we hunted tonight that had the silver in it and see what happens. So right here is WB3. I'm going to go ahead, cut the tape, pop this open. We will get into it and see what we got on the top. Be right back. All right, got the top cut open. Let's pop it open. And I do not see anything too exciting on the top. Got one, probably 22, 23 newer coin there. And that is about it. Let's go ahead, get into it, see what we can find. All right, roll number 28. Just pop this one open. And right there, I think we're going to have us a 40. This has been a very slow box, was not expecting much. And then out of the blue, there it is, 1965. We will take that. Very nice. Silver in the box. Wasn't expecting much out of these. I'll take it. All right, there it is. Box one is a wrap. Not too bad overall. We did pull a silver, which is better than I thought we were going to do. This box was, uh, sister box was pretty bad. I thought maybe this would be very much the same, but that's why you got to hunt them. You never know. Did pull an NIFC as well. So a 40%er NIFC for the first WB box. Let me grab the second one. We'll get into that. We'll be right back. All right, we're back with WB2, second box of this hunt. Hopefully some more silver. We'll see how it goes. I already cut the tape. Let's pop the top here and take a little peek. And I do not see anything too exciting on the top. Let's get into them, see what we can add to the board. Roll number two, early find this box. Just an NIFC, but we'll take it. We waited almost to the end for the last one. So there we go. Start it out. All right, there it is. Box two is done, and it was a tough one. We ended up with three NIFCs on that one. That is it. No silver in box two. We're going to go ahead and get into the PB2 box next. I'll get that popped up here, and we'll jump into that one. We'll be right back. All right, here we are. PB2. Cut the tape on this right before I set it up here. And I see several new ones in here. That has been a good sign recently. Seeing some 22s and 23s in the boxes. I've had several in the stream like that lately, so hopefully that will be the case again. Let's get into box three. Hopefully we can score a little more silver. All right, PB1, here we are. Roll number six, just pop this one open. These have all been weighing just a tick heavy, 226.1, 226.2. And we're going to have a silver right there, third one in on the left. Will be a 40, it looks like. Yes, it is. 1966. We will take that first silver of box three. Very nice. All right, back again, roll number 16. Just got this one tore open, and I think that is going to be another 40 percenter right there. Let's go ahead and get this popped open the rest of the way. These papers are tough. And yes, it is 1968. We will take that. Very nice. Another silver out of box three. 
All right, we are back. Roll 18 now. Just pop this one out, and we are at 226.6 on this one. So I don't know how this one will go. We've had a couple silvers, so it inclines me to uh, open it up live. So give me just a second here. We're going to get this thing set up, and we are going to go ahead and jump into this one and see what we got here. See if we get lucky. And we will not. No silver at 226.6. Bummer. All right, roll 25. We're back again. We're right at that 226.6 point. We're going to go ahead, try it one more time, see if we can get lucky and get a silver. Would be a 90%er, hopefully, at this weight. But let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. I would love to get a 90 out of this box, but we've already been fooled at 226 once. And we're going to get fooled. One more time right there. Not going to happen. That's all right. We'll keep plugging away. All right. Back again. Roll 31. And right there on the right, right at the edge of the paper, I believe we are going to have us another 40 percenter. Oh, yeah. You can hear it. And we do. 1967. We will take that 40 percenter. Number three. Very nice, and we still have 19 rolls to go. We've got another shot at it. Roll 47. Just pop this one out. Got her part way opened up, and right there, we are going to get one more 40 at least out of this. That will make number four out of the box, and that makes me pretty happy. What will we get for a year this time around? And it's going to be a 19. 67 we will take that let me check the other side of this roll while we're here and i do not see anything else three to go can we get number five all right there it is box three is a wrap and a successful one at that we did pull out those 40 percenters i believe we have a 66 two 67s and a 68 if i remember right yep that is correct did pull aside a couple nifcs a 2003 and a 2019 and that is going to do it. Five silvers through three boxes. And that actually gives us uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 for the week so far with one box to go. This is the sister box to the one that had a couple 90s and a 40 in it on the stream. That's why I saved it to last. So hopefully this one will also have some goodies. Let me go ahead, get these moved back, get this box cleared off. We'll grab the next one and get at it. All right, here we are. The fourth and final box will be CB2. So hopefully we will get lucky. Like I said, the sister box had goodies on the stream, couple 90s and a 40. And it was also, yep, we got the same thing. One of these mixed boxes. They're, I call them semi-circulated. So there's a lot of new coins in them, probably six to eight a roll. But man, I've been finding silver in these lately. It has been good. So Let's go ahead, jump into this one, see what else we can find. Five silver so far, a few NIFCs, hopefully we can add a few more goodies. All right, roll 18, just pulled it out, popped it on a scale, and that is pretty heavy. That is over a 90, 90, usually 226, 8, 226, 9, 227, so we are nearly 227, 6. So the question is, what will we have... So let's go ahead once again, <clears throat> let's open this up live and see what's happening in here. Can we get two? Will it be one with a 40% friend or not? And I just see 190, it looks like, right there on the left. Sorry about the camera stuff. I'm trying to figure out a new way to film these when I got heavy rolls, so I'm working at it. But let's see what we got here. It is going to be a Philadelphia. There is no mint mark on the back, but it will be a 1964. We will take that. 90% are in the box. Very nice. 
I'm gonna double check these and I do not see anything else in here, but all right, awesome, we'll take it. Roll 35. And look what we found. This poor thing is beat to death. And this is going to be a Nation of Immigrants commemorative from 1986. It is beat down, man. It is in rough shape. I think I'm going to hang on to it, though. I just uh, think it's cool to find. Even in this condition, I will hang on to it. Pretty neat. We'll take it. All right, and there it is. That is going to do it. Four box hunt is wrapped up, but I'm pretty happy. Overall, that was pretty good. We got that 64 and that poor beat up Nation of Immigrants coin, a commemorative coin out of that one, which is, man, I've never seen one look that bad before. I found several of these over the years, but none that looked like that. So that's going to give us six silvers total for the hunt. I will take that all day, every day. That'll give us 14 for the week, which is not a bad little haul. We'll take it. So I appreciate you guys coming along. I'm going to grab the treasure chest and the silver jar. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There is the big chest of goodies. We're just creeping up on about a month away from giving all this stuff away. So that is pretty exciting. We're going to go ahead and add us another 40%er, 1967, into the chest. And right here are our six silvers from the hunt that will be going in the 2024 silver jar. Appreciate you all coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one.